So I just ran this out of gas, and then what you want to do is go ahead and take off this air cleaner cover right here. Put that aside. You got two 10 millimeter bolts that you take out here. And keep track of where all the gaskets and everything are when you take this apart, and I'll show you here. So you just loosen those up, and then you're going to have the carburetor itself here on this side over here and then you're going to have this auto choke mechanism and there's a few gaskets everywhere in between there like that one that just fell down there make sure you pick that up I just remember this stack of gaskets and parts so it's that gasket then the auto choke comes off of there right there then you have another gasket and then you're gonna maybe take a picture of how these go in right here and these linkages. And then we're just gonna go ahead and take this off. Okay, and also here on the other side of the carburetor, the fuel line goes in there. You might wanna grab those with a needle nose plier there, but first it's a good idea to spray a little WD-40 on it and then try to work it loose so you don't mess up the hose. I'm already starting to kind of like grab into the hose a little bit with the uh with vice grips i was using and it's it started leaking a little bit so hopefully i didn't mess it up all right guys i wanted to show you before i took this out this right here is the wax uh thermal plunger i guess you could call it it's got a name i don't know but i'll have a link for it in the description below where you can get it on Amazon. I just bought this and put it in and it's making it work correctly, okay? So <clears throat> that when it's warmed up, that plunger, if you see that pin, that's in the warmed up position because the engine's warm now. I let it run for a minute. So that's sticking out. As this cools down, it retracts back in toward the engine. And then that actually moves the choke to the uh, open, uh, closed position rather, so that in a cold uh, <coughs> situation when the engine's cold, the choke uh, valve will be closed in the carburetor. So I'm just gonna take this right out and show it to you. So that's what this looks like right here. Okay, and that little pin comes out. But actually I noticed when I ordered that from Amazon and got it a couple days ago, that that there, I didn't even have one in there. So restarting this thing was really hard. I figured out how to manually choke it, but now it works really great. And you just get this and put a new one up in there if you need a new one. If your mower is uh, not restarting after you've been using it a little bit to mow your grass and it's been running and it's warm and it won't restart, that's usually gonna be the problem right there. Now, the carburetor I'm gonna go ahead and take apart okay then we have the carburetor off and right here is uh, the float bowl plug or screw whatever we're gonna take that off with the 10 millimeter ratchet <coughs> and I just uh, let all the gas burn out of this float bowl so we don't have a mess taking this apart Okay, make sure to keep your uh, washer there and your float bowl bolt. And it looks like our engine's got clean gas running through there. Now, <clears throat> you may not see, may not be able to see way down deep inside of there, but there's a jet that I'm going to go ahead and take out. And it looks like a slotted screw that's... uh down inside of there you might be able to see the slotted there's a slot in the bottom of that jet that you can stick the screwdriver down in there let me see if I can get it out <clears throat> find the right side screwdriver still had a little gas in there okay this screwdriver is a little bit too big I have an assortment Okay, let's try, let's try this one. Let's see if that'll fit down in there. I think it will. Yep, fits right down in there. 
Let's go ahead and see if I can get onto that slot on the top. This is going to let me get in there. There it is. I got it. And be careful with this float. Try not to mess with this float. Put your thumb or, any, or your hand on that if you can avoid it. Okay, I got that loosened up. Let's go ahead and take this out. Okay, it seems like it's all the way loose. Now let's just try to tap it out. Sometimes these th things can be a bear trying to get them all the way out. They a lot of times see that they kind of get stuck near the end there. So I'm going to tap it here. Trying to get it to come out. Okay, out of that uh, hole there in the carburetor came out the main jet. Here's the jet. It goes up into there. And if you look real close at this thing, there are these tiny, tiny holes. And if you have a wire brush or something like that, uh, that's what it takes to get into these holes. See, there's like four there, four there, four there, and four there. So that there's like 16 holes in total besides the main hole going through the middle of it. Make sure that's clear. It looks like that's, you can see through that pretty good. So that looks good. But we're going to go ahead and stick a, a wire brush. If you have a very small wire and uh, what you can use is actually from a bread tie like this you can take the wire that's out of there just kind of strip that down and just get that wire that's on the inside and that should be small enough to fit inside of those little holes And I can't find a wire brush that I have like this one right here, but it's actually wire. It's not plastic. But even these plastic, little pieces of plastic, you could clip one or two of those off and just one at a time, each hole, you go on through there and make sure that each little bitty hole is clear. Okay, that a lot of times causes problems with the idle surging as well. And then... <clears throat> Where'd I put my main jet? Okay, and then here's the main jet. All right. And that little hole that's there is so small that goes through there. I'm going to try to open that up a little bit with some of these little wire uh, pipe cleaners. And I'm going to find one that fits right in there. Actually, I'll do it now. And try to see what fits in there, if anything. I don't know if these gauges are going to be small enough to go in that hole or not. It doesn't look like it. This is a pretty one of the narrower ones. Uh, let me see if I got it. I can get a thinner one. And what I'm going to do is try to run this through this hole here. See, none of these are really going through. But I'm just going to try to make this run a little bit richer, which might help it. When the engine's cold, it's start up. I, I found this suggestion online. So I'm just going to try to find something that's going to fit in there. And then I'm going to try to uh, ream out this hole just a little bit to make it a little bit wider. And then hopefully um, when it starts, <clears throat> I won't be getting that surging. Well, I had this old guitar wire laying around from uh, guitar strings I just took off. And I got this uh, wire right here that's bent pretty good. And that fits up into this jet pretty good. And what I did was I just, you know, I put a couple bends in this. It had, the wire had a few bends in it already. And so what I'm just doing is just trying to clean that. I'm rotating it and moving it up and down, back and forth. So I'm cleaning out the inside diameter hopefully opening it up a little bit as well as I'm doing that because it's kind of getting stuck in there which is good and I'm just trying to because kind of those file um, pipe cleaner that are kind of half file like uh, none of them uh, the gauges are too thick to fit in this uh, main jet here and um, so that's what this is, the main jet. So I'm, I'm really 
this is bumping against those little bends in the wire so i'm hoping to be opening this hole up a little bit in the soft jet because it looks like it's brass so maybe i'm gonna open that hole up a little bit i'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that this is all it takes to uh get this thing to run good when i first go to start it up when the engine's cold so it doesn't surge okay and that's a lot of times part of this problem this <clears throat> these jets because of emissions on these engines and stuff they make these jets so small and they run so lean <clears throat> that you have issues when the engine's cold and starting so hopefully see what i did there it was kind of it's not easy to get it back and forth running across the bends in this wire so that means you know i'm i'm doing some work to the inside diameter of that jet <clears throat> hopefully i opened that up a little bit I don't know if I can see through that. You know, that hole is just so tiny. But maybe whatever I did there will get a little piece of debris or anything out of there. I'm going to blow it out with some carb cleaner before I put it back together. But here is, uh, actually this is not the main jet, this is the emulsion tube. So I'm going to take this wire here. See if I can zoom in on this a little bit. I, I can actually see better through the camera viewer to see what I'm doing. And uh, see how I went through that hole right there? Yeah. And so I'm going to do that on all of these holes, getting through all of those. All right. Get that zoom a little better. So you see what I'm doing anyway. I'm just kind of going through each one of those holes to make sure that they're clear. All right. I'm going to do all those and get back to you. And at least you forget if you weren't paying attention, once you get all those holes cleaned out, the way to put it back to, in the carburetor is you want to put it in this way, okay? All right. Check it up in there, and now we're going to put the main jet back in. And this main jet a lot of times it's not easy to uh, take out of there. Once it's on the very edge of being out, it just wants to hang on you because these threads get hung up and you can't get a hold of it. You can't grab it with anything, so you end up just having to bang it and be careful when you're banging it. <coughs> Don't bang it too hard. All right, get that nice and tight in there. And I'm going to put this uh, float back together. And get this needle back on there in the bottom. Make a mental note or take some pictures before you take this all apart. I just put that uh, needle back onto the float. Getting it back in here. Okay, it fell out. to lift it up there a little bit to see what I was doing and then I got my uh, pen that I got to put back in here okay ah I didn't get that needle in there dang it ah I'll get back to you guys on this okay the moment of truth got everything back together and let's see if we get surging at startup, 